Good morning. This is Ryan Payne filling in for Bob for this week's market update. And a wild ride it was on the street of dreams this week as data on the state of the economy was mixed, causing stock prices to swing erratically. When the roller coaster ride in stocks finally ended Friday afternoon, the Dow Jones Industrial Average actually rose 1.15% for the week. The S&P 500 fell 1.55%. And the tech-heavy Nasdaq continued to bleed badly, fell another 3.08%. Overall, U.S. markets remain in bear market territory. And the news, quite frankly, hasn't been great. Outlook for global growth continues to decline as the IMF cut global growth estimates to 2.7%. And September inflation still ran hot at 8.2%. All in all, high inflation continues to cast a black cloud over the economy. The September core CPI, which excludes food and energy costs, increased 0.6% for the second straight month in a row. The 6.6% year-over-year rise was the biggest in four decades. That's 40 years. Inflation, though cooling in some areas of the economy, remains stubbornly hot overall. Furthermore, U.S. consumers raised their expectations for future inflation, offering another signal that the Federal Reserve may have to continue to aggressively raise interest rates to temper stubbornly hot consumer prices. The central bank has already raised its benchmark five times this year, with the last three increases by 0.75%. Wall Street expects another raise of three quarters of a percentage point at its next meeting in November. The yield on the two-year Treasury, which tends to track expectations for future Fed action, rose to 4.5% from 4.4% just before the report came out. That's it, folks. The two-year Treasury now at 4.5%. We haven't seen that in over a decade. However, not all the news was so bad. Several big banks were bright spots in the market. J.P. Morgan Chase rose 1.7% after reporting earnings and revenue that topped Wall Street expectations. Wells Fargo rose 1.9% after it reported strong revenue. And most surprisingly, overall consumer confidence remains considerably strong despite higher prices on a wide range of goods. A government report showed that the pace of sales that U.S. retailers was unchanged in September from August, despite the fact rising prices for rent, food. Bottom line, the consumer continues to spend regardless of higher prices. So despite extreme uncertainty in the current economy, our view is this too shall pass. Eventually, consumer prices are going to come back to earth. Eventually, the Fed will stop raising interest rates and stop tightening financial conditions. In the meantime, global markets are historically cheap and pay the highest cash flow ever in history, presenting long-term investors with a rare opportunity to buy capital markets on sale and build a retirement portfolio that will overcome the adverse effects of inflation long-term. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, you need to build that portfolio for the future, take advantage of the uncertainty that presents the best long-term opportunity, well, here's your shot to do it. If you've saved over a million dollars for your retirement plan, if you call or text right now at 844-752-6692, that's 844-752-6692. My father and Bob and I will run for you our total financial master plan and put together a game plan for you to solidify your long-term retirement goals.